this Wednesday, January 15th, and you're listening to Daybreak Africa on the Voice of America. I'm James Butte in Washington. Daybreak Africa time, 14 and a half minutes past the hour. Sierra Leone authorities have arrested the leader of the anti-government protest in Liberia, Henry Costa. Is, uh, was expected to be extradited to Liberia today, Wednesday. But Costa, who says he, had, he was being held at Longi International Airport, says he fears he will be killed if he is returned to Liberia. I'm currently at the local police station at the Longi International Airport in Freetown, Sierra Leone. And uh, I had attempted to board my flight to Istanbul, Turkey, and then to the U.S. The immigration folks got alerted when I tried to check in, and they called me up very nicely. And they've been very nice, very professional people. And they raised an issue that there was information sent by the government of Liberia or of some source that I needed to not be allowed to board the flight. The immigration officer brought some police officers who accompanied me to the police station. They've been very nice to me. Now. So I'm being held on a protective custody. It is not the team has been arrested, but of course my rights to move freely are curtailed, but I am not arrested, but I am held under protective custody at the police station at Longy. And so I guess you're wondering why did I come free down? On Sunday. Exactly, Henry, that's what I wanted to ask you because when we last spoke, you had said that the authorities in Liberia were preventing you from leaving. How did you end up in Sierra Leone? I got some help from very top level security people in the Liberian security apparatus. They came to me and they said, leave the country. There's a plan to attack you. We know you can be stubborn, but please do not be stubborn about this. We know about this plan and we don't want to sit here and allow it happen. Actually, three of them, they facilitated my escape out of the country. Mr. Bolte, that is how I came to Sierra Leone. The elements who have been hired by people close to the president to attack me. Mr. Walton, two days before the protest was supposed to be held on the 30th of December, I got a call and I went to a meeting from a very important diplomatic mission near Monrovia. And they informed me of a plan to attack me. So I've been aware of that plan and I've been protecting myself. But you get to a point where you have to be very, very careful and sometimes you cannot be stubborn. And so that is how I got it, Mr. Walker. We were trying to reach the Sierra Leone police or any authority in Freetown. We were unable, but uh, why would Sierra Leone want to return you to Liberia? Because uh, I'm not sure if there's any criminality involved here. No, sir. There's no case in the court, sir. There's no case in the court against me, sir. I have not been charged with anything, sir. Nothing of the sort. But as I said, the Serenian authorities have been very reasonable, very warm, very pleasant. And so I hope when I meet their bosses tomorrow, we will be able to square this thing out. Because there will be no indictment, no prosecution, nothing. So I have not committed a crime. But Mr. Walter, that's the reason why I made the move. Because I was warned to leave the country. My escape was facilitated by senior government security people. I will not call their names. Suppose uh, Sierra Leone insists on returning you to Liberia. I, I, what are your concerns? that I would be killed if I were to be returned, Mr. Bolton. I would be killed. So the Serbian authority would have to know that. I will make that very clear to them. Henry Costa is one of the founders of the Council of Patriots, organizers of anti-government protests in Liberia. You're speaking with us from a police cell at Longi International Airport.